All right, so the next plugin we're going to show you is the DOS or denial of service attack, and we're also going to be using the find IP plugin to help us use that DOS attack. All right, basically how this DOS attack works is first it'll scan the victim and find all of its open ports. It'll send, uh, it'll flood those ports with uh, SYN packets, which are request packets. It will get the um, the request acknowledgement packet back, and then it will send an acknowledgement packet back. This is all with a phantom host, so it's with an IP of a host that doesn't exist on the network, and it'll establish this basically fake connection between these two hosts. Um, but first we have to find an IP on our network that isn't being used. So that's where the find IP plugin comes in. And just so you know, you need to make sure you generate that host list before you use find IP. All right, we're going to go down to the find IP, we're going to run it, and it's going to list an IP address that it believes is not being used on our network. In this case, it's 15.2. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and run the DOS attack plugin. It's going to ask for the victim's IP, which we have from our host list. So you can see there it's on the host list. Go ahead and put that IP in for the victim. And then it's going to ask for an unused IP address, which we got from running the find IP plugin. And as you can see, it started the DOS attack. Now let's go over to the victim computer and test it out. As you can see, we have zero connection. We cannot do anything. Denial of service. All right, the next plugin we're going to show you is Gateway Discover. Um, this isn't really like applicable on our current network because we know the default gateway, but on like a wireless hotspot where they might hide the um, the gateway, this can be really helpful. Basically, this works by sending a request packet to a remote host. It has to be a remote host, like a, a web server, and then it will EtherCAP will receive the request and acknowledgement packet from that host, which will contain the, uh, your network's gateway address. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and run the plugin here. As you can see, it's asking for a remote IP. So we're just going to go uh, open up the terminal, and we're going to get the IP address of google.com with nslookup. As you can see, the address right there, copy it over and paste it in. All web servers are on, on port 80, so just put colon 80 for the port. Okay, well I guess that didn't work, so um, let's try our website. Port 80. and that didn't work as well. So obviously something's wrong and the sniffer is not running. That seems to be the problem. So you make sure that your sniffer is running when you run this plugin. Go back, we'll paste it on our website again. And there we go. It has found uh, the gateway of our local area network. Again, this doesn't really apply to our network because we know what it is, but it can be very helpful in situations where the default gateway is hidden. All right, there's uh, three more plugins that we want to show you, and they're basically designed to find uh, attackers on your network. Um, the first one we're going to show you searches for uh, computers in promiscuous mode. And we're just going to hop on over to our other computer, the victim computer. And we're going to open up EtherCAP, and we're going to start a, a sniffer that's in promiscuous mode. And if we just run this plugin, it will tell you uh, network interfaces that are most likely in promiscuous mode. Um, you may have to run this a couple times to get all the, the network interfaces to show up there, and also you got to be aware of that there's, there could be false positives. Um, also, it shows you less probable sniffing. Uh, interfaces and uh, there's none right now because we don't have any other hosts but uh, um, yeah. The next plugin we're going to show you is ARPCOP. Basically this is a plugin that runs uh, constantly and it 
it constantly looks for uh, suspicious ARP activity uh, by passively monitoring ARP requests and replies. And we're just going to go to our victim computer over here and we're going to run a, an ARP poisoning attack. And uh, ARP COP will uh, automatically, uh, as it sees the suspicious ARP activity, um, display the message on the screen. As you can see, it's saying that the, the victim IP address uh, 192.168.15.4 is pretending to be an IP address that's not. We're just going to disable ARP COP so it stops spitting out uh, more warning messages. And I'm going to show you the last, the last one. It's uh, scan for poisoners and basically this will just do one scan it won't continuously report activity like ARP cop will. Um, we're just running here uh, and as you can see it tells you that the victim computer is pretending to be the gateway. Um, so you can see that there is uh, uses of EtherCap to not only do attacks but to prevent attacks.